Welcome back to Beautiful Desolation. We just learned about the existence of the Kettle Garage. Might be able to find some spare parts there. I think it's this. Yeah. Control. Come in. Over. Looking for them gold pieces. Who are you whistling to? The surface of the road has been broken. Chunks of asphalt gleam under the scorching sun. Looks like an old Ignite. CPU. The word Nexus is stamped on the underside of the CPU chip. I love that you can even see the heatsink and fan on it. Actually, do I even see a fan in there? It might just be the heatsink. Anyway, it looks super cool. I'm not actually sure what that's for, just offhand. But I'm sure I need it. A partly obscured kettle petrol sign perches on the corner of the vine-covered roof. The swing set creaks ever so gently as the hot air stirs. Climbing plants have overgrown the old concrete wall. Must have been nice when kids play here. These just look like normal, sort of normalish flowers that have just been sized up about 20 times. They're huge. They sort of look like dandelions, kind of. These look like ordinary wildflowers grown to unnaturally large proportions. The windows are broken and the interior is dark. Nothing of value left here. I wonder if there's anything other than the CPU. I feel like that might be it. But I only kind of checked down from where we landed. Let's see if we can go up. Nah, edge of the map. Yeah, looks like that's all. I remember I also wanted to go to the bulwark, but I think we didn't have permission to land there, actually. I don't know, let's go try it. Apparently we have permission now. The lake... the lake surrounds the landing platform.
The city is heavily armed and guarded. Nasty, juicy sounds coming from inside. <laughs> and that just sounded like a scream. Lots of heavily armed agnates here. Pool of clear water. Throne room in there. Let's not go there just yet. A pair of towering golden figures rise from the pond. Robotic guards never need to rest. The trunk is enormous and hard as stone. <laughs> Indeed. Work on an opulent golden statue has been halted. Authorized. Voice no. Start. Human is attempting to communicate and confuse an officer. Voice no. End. Uploading data to the ascendancy. Purging memory. Halt. You were just about to tell me how to get past you. Only competitors have triumphed in at least one battle. We enter the arena. Scanning access list. Never mind. I'm leaving. Need to fight in the arena. Us, as a journalist? Dried wood and tree bark rise from the floor. Bowery of dried flowers, leaves, and twisted branches form a seat. Cold ores and metals have been melted into a beautiful shape. These thrones get higher and higher. Assuming that represents the importance of the person sitting in them. A seat of pure gold rises from a small pile of bones. This throne is a dark thing of bone and blood. sound of chains scraping against stone echo through this portal. feel like I should save first. I ah, taste you also appears before us. But what does it offer us? How does it prostrate itself before the fire? What does it come to us without an offering? Instead wishing to be ripped into pieces. My brethren, I am torn. We here to negotiate on behalf of Grave. Grave. 
saw the usurper has given us these three as offerings. What message of penance does the bottom feeder of the kettle send? Offerings? No. We're here to get the mask of never horses. Ah, ah. So you will serve as his proxy in the arena. To claim the mask of never horses, you will have to fight. But no, that to challenge one of the five is to challenge us all. Make us an offering of human bone and blood, and you may enter the arcade. Then we will fight. Um, Lars accepted your challenge. Great. An offering of bone and blood. How would that work? Can I just do it right now? Oh, I do have a bone. But I don't have any blood. Uh-uh. 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 <laughs> no more... <laughs> more emphasis on that one. Uh-uh. 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 So I think I need to combine the blood with the bone. There's nothing else I have here that could possibly work, right? That's a CPU. That's a gold thing. That's a module. That's a module. That's a module. Oh, we have the gourd. I need to put it on some herbs. Which I don't have. And then we have this... This weird thing. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what to do right now. I guess I could go um, turn in the piece of gold I have and see if I can buy something. I, I don't think blood was anything I could buy, though. I guess uh, maybe there's somebody I could talk to that would be able to sell me something like that, perhaps? Actually, you know what we should do, instead of going around to places and trying to see if I could talk to anybody now? I should go to the entire world map that we haven't gone to yet. Right, we have Zozo. I love how different all these locations look. So, only two places to go. Let's check out the train station. First thing I do is always kind of go the other way than they expect me to go. Looking for that gold. Oh, look at those birds! I think those are birds. Yeah, they are. They could also be very large insects, which wouldn't surprise me. But, nah, they're birds. The train station stands abandoned. Holy stairs! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. That was such a cute laugh from Pooch. The statue's dead eyes gaze impassively over the parched landscape. A 
the building carved roughly into the rock face is crowned with a magnificent roof. Why is everything shaking? Like there's a small earthquake or something. The spindly aerials stretch upward into the silent skies. The thick wall looks like it once belonged to an old fort or keep. Talk with what? Hello. Oh. Huh? Huh? Who's there? Mark. I am Shongololo, last of the living train. Dear God. How can I be of service to you? Am I actually speaking to a train? Ah! Speak up! Did you say rain? Train? Are you a train? I sure hope it doesn't rain. Tulip hated the rain. Right, Shongololo. Can you answer a few questions for me? Heavens to Betsy! I can! Have you been here a long time? Because you look very uh, settled. If you mean as a train, then yes. So, you weren't always a train? When I was a young man, I witnessed the hardships of this broken world. This was before the tribulation, mind you. My father was a priest of the Catholic Church. Religion was not looked upon fondly in those days. Millions cried out to God. Why had he forsaken us? Why had the Creator allowed these machines to have dominion over us? I rebelled. I left home. The war effort ensured the railways functioned. Vast swaths of track were laid and regions were connected through the putrid rainbow gas. I rode the trains and that's when I first gazed upon her. My tulip. Yeah, this sounds like a great story, but uh, look, I have some more important questions. She was much younger than me. Pretty as a tulip. Uh, where was I? Uh... A voice actor for Shongololo sounds just <laughs> so absurd. I kind of love it. You were just about to tell me about the Penrose. Tulip had a lovely smile. Here we go again. The Penrose appeared many years ago, an age before I was born. I don't know much about it. I do know that you can't get up there. Many tried. Off limits. Only Babel has access. Did I tell you about Tulip? Yes, yes, very nice. Uh, uh, where was I? Oh yes, the Penrose. Pen... Rose... Tulip. Uh, it's time for my nap. Uh, uh, come back later, little one. There's some connection between Tulip, whoever or whatever that is, and the Penrose. Rickety scaffolding sways in the heavy air. The 
spine of an ancient behemoth arches its way alongside the bridge. Oh God, these bridges are sturdy. such a large area, but there's nothing here except that one person to talk to. It's got that feeling of coming to an area that you're not supposed to be at yet, so there's nothing you can really do. Your leg. Is it just a brace or something more? The newer tech is much smaller, designed to fit under the skin. That's just a brace. Helps take a bit of pressure off the leg. What happened? Car accident. A bad one. Uh, I am sorry. But you survived. And almost in one piece. My fiancé was in the car with me. Charlize. She didn't... She didn't make it. I'm sorry, Mark. I have also lost someone. I think. The memory is there, in bits and pieces. One of my first memories is of an engineer named Ridley. She worked with me for a long time. She even pleaded with them when they did the first wipe. She wanted to say goodbye. She was kind. I remember her staying late with me, just sitting together. What happened to her? Do not remember. There was an experiment. An attempt to simulate fear in my programming. I panicked. I broke the restraints. I think... I think I hurt someone. I think I hurt her. There was so much human blood. And then... Nothing. I... I... I do not remember. Hey, it wasn't your fault, Pooch. Those scientists were messing with technology that they didn't even understand. Yes, I know that. Sometimes I wish they had wiped those memories. But I do like to remember her laugh. He likes to remember her laugh. That's really cute. I'm just enjoying the landscape while I head over in the direction of this. I don't think we're getting in there. That looks like a huge shield. Oh, really? Or maybe we'll just get to the outskirts of it. The Hawker Dome is close by. I wonder if it's still standing. It was barely livable when you were there. Must be a wreck by now. That place saved me. Well, Mr. Callan saved me. I was living on the streets when I met him. I had my bag, some extra beans and that was it. He was also a vet. Said he was with Kufut. You know, when you get out of there, there's no debriefing. You sign your papers and it's just out. You're forgotten. I'm sorry, Don. It must have been hard. For a long time, I tried to live normally, but after a while, you just can't. It's always okay for a while. You do okay, and then it starts. You feel like you're being watched. You pack a bag, and you just wait for something to happen. You know the war is done on the outside, but inside, inside, it's always there. But Mr. Kellen, he was good to me. He understood. He helped me. He even gave me my own drone to play music to help me sleep at night. Call him buddy. He sounds like a good guy. I'd like to have met him. When you get back, you will. You'll cry and swap war stories until it's too cold to talk anymore. The airport's passenger seating.
scanning for poisons. A large model of an airplane rests atop the rusted sign. The old... How do I pronounce that? Chisnyama? Chisnyama village has been left in a state of neglect. The airport tower is silent and dark. shield separates the outer regions of the village from the inner dwellings. Uh -uh. Strange uncultivated seeds. That looked quite a bit like a pomegranate. Yeah, that looks like a pomegranate. Not the outside, exactly, but the inside. A pink pulpy seed pod with intricate patterns engraved in its surface. Is that the... I mean, it doesn't... I don't know if that'd be the herb that I need to grow, but... Nope. Oh, yeah, I was just using it wrong. You don't click it and then click on it. You hold it, like, click and hold and drag over. The rancid smell of curdled milk emanates from the gourd. Uh, they're still uncultivated. Bone meal? Minecraft logic? <laughs> hmm. Combine the bone with everything. Vegetables are thriving in the warm atmosphere created by thick reflective tarps. Oh, I'm inside the plane? Oh no, I'm underneath it? It's really hard to tell depth sometimes. The bodywork of the old plane is overrun with clinging vines. Only the foundations of this hut remain. Ooh, gold? What do you bet? Gold. This gold item could be used for trade. Always worth it to look in the strange corners of a map. Small dwellings and wooden platforms have been built around the plain. The ancient bowing is surrounded by ramshackle dwellings. The older buildings in the village are unoccupied.
you having a good sleep in there? They might just be dead. I don't know. I don't see them moving. The outer huts have been abandoned in favor of secure habitations behind the force field. I think that's it for here. So I can buy stuff, although I'm not sure what I would do with any of the things that I can buy. Oh, the hangar that's been added to the locations. That wasn't where we were. That's a separate location. See if it's still as Dawn remembered it. Home. I'm home. I'm happy for you, Dawn. I'm going to go the opposite direction and I'll see you in like an hour. The wreckage of a small plane is visible in the rubble. The buildings that were here just the other day have been razed to the ground. The plane is missing a wing. I think it's missing more than that. More gold? That's a key, though. Could that be used to unlock something? It's only gold-plated, but they won't notice. Ah. seeing a place like this. God, we were just here, huh? The old mattress, the couch, the arcade machines, they've all just vanished. The roof has been torn off the hangar. Doesn't look like much survived. Nothing is left, just piles of debris. Hmm. That's it, isn't it? 